Welcome to the tutorial deforming a drawing using the perspective tool. Before I begin this tutorial, I'm going to take the first few minutes to continue cleaning up the cartoon rabbit. So now that we're done cleaning up the cartoon rabbit, let's continue learning how to use the perspective tool. In order to show you how to use the perspective tool, I'm going to create a shadow for the rabbit. So to do this, I'm going to duplicate the rabbit clean layer and rename it rabbit shadow. So to access the perspective tool, go to the tools toolbar and hold down the contour editor tool. Select the third menu item from the list. So the first two options you have in the tools property panel for the perspective tool is that you can either have the tool be a marquee or a lasso. So the lasso tool allows you to select part of the rabbit 
whereas the marquee lets you select part of the rabbit in a more square, um, squared out fashion. And it's actually easier to select the entire rabbit, which is what I'd like to do for this tutorial. So the next options you have here at the bottom are to flip it horizontal or vertical. So horizontal isn't too useful um, for what I need right now, so I'm going to undo that. Reselect the rabbit and then flip it um, vertical, which is what I'm looking for here. I'm going to bring up the select tool and then drag the shadow so that the feet of the shadow are touching the feet of the cleaned up rabbit. Like that. So the next two options you have are to rotate um, the shadow 90 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees counterclockwise. Once again, right now, that's not too useful for what I like to do. But what I do want to do is skew the shadow so that it looks like wherever our light source is coming from, the rabbit shadow is actually um, making sense visually with the light source. So it's going to, I want to stretch it out at the correct angle. So to do this, I can select any of the points around the bounding box of the rabbit and then just skew its form to whatever shape I like. Something like that. So that's pretty much it for deforming a drawing using the perspective tool. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, Smoothing Lines, which will be part of pack number four.